welcome to July's video for Min Mixed Media Menagerie. Um, this month was sponsored again by Peacecraft Love. And make sure you, um, you check out their store, support small businesses, and use the code JULYMMN for 10% off if you find anything that you like. Um, they sent us some goodies to use. And I really love those brushes with the little mark making tools on the bottom. Those things are awesome. Um, this month was all about color mixing. We're using water-soluble crayons. Um, what else was... Patty paper, which is like deli paper, but like cut into squares. And it's a little different uh, texture. Um, Erin did the uh, ephemera drop. So this is all the stuff that she uh, gave us. We definitely pared it down this month uh, because it was getting a little too crazy. So I think from now on we're limiting the amount that we're gonna give each other. Um, but I really loved this napkin that she included because um, it has these sketchy flowers. So I decided to incorporate that into my background. So I am taking some Liquitex matte fluid, fluid matte medium, and I am going to just glue that down into the corners. Of the, of the spread and then I'm going to fill the middle up with some book pages that I have lying around. Um, so this is like the seam of the journal. Um, so the, the pages are stuck together like it's a it's it goes from one signature to the next signature. So it I find that in, in the journals um, it kind of rips open a little bit. Um, so I'm trying to keep it together by gluing all of the stuff down. So hopefully it doesn't rip open in the future. Oh, and I forgot to mention that the theme for this month is repetition. Um, and we're also using a fine line applicator. Um, so you'll see that. Um, so hopefully, hopefully my project fits all of those themes. I think it does, we'll see. So now I'm going over my background with gesso, as I love to do, and then I'm going to uh, make some scribbles into the gesso with one of the um, mark making brushes. So something that I like to do with this patty paper or even deli paper or tracing paper is to just uh, do some mark making on it with some white and black paint to use as collage papers. Um, I really enjoy the transparency of the papers um, when you're using them in collage so you can go over something that maybe you already put down or um, it just adds another layer of interest. Um, so I'm taking the brushes and I'm making marks. I'm doing tick marks and then circles and I'm doing them in both white and black paint.
So I really loved this uh, like chipboard, cardboard frame that Erin included in the ephemera drop. So I'm taking some of the papers that she included, um, these little black and white squares and the napkin, um, and I'm just kind of going over all of it and um, covering it all with these black and white papers. And I'm using some thicker um, gel medium for this because I feel like um, it'll hold everything better, especially those um, little thicker papers. So Erin also included these little like pebble things. I'm pretty sure they're like a, a Prima marketing um, or Finnebear thing um, to make texture. I can't remember what they're called. Um, but I am putting them in the corners of the frame, you know, to add that bit of texture. I'm just putting down a big glob of the matte gel medium and kind of just sticking the little balls in there and hoping that they stay. All right, so now we get into the color mixing fun, and I really hope this counts as color mixing. Um, normally what I would do, like, I like to play with colors, with three colors, and like mix them together and make little swatches, and then there's leftover paint, so I'll do something fun, you know, just with the leftover paint. But, you know, this is a journal spread, so it's a little different. Um, so, I'm taking um, Dina Wakely Media Paints. We've got Fuchsia, Lemon, and uh, Peacock. And I'm mixing them together both by spreading them around the page and like kind of watering them down, and also you know, taking a little bit of the fuchsia and a little bit of the yellow and mixing it. Um, I also have some white um, that I'm using. And then I took the turquoise and the fuchsia and mixed it together. So that makes a really pretty like blue purple, depending on how much you use of each color. Um, so the, and then the pink and yellow obviously makes a pretty orange. When you add white, it makes a pretty peach. Um, and the, the peacock and the yellow mixed together does make a really pretty green and I did it a little but then I didn't really like it with like where the rest of the spread was going so I didn't use it but it is a really cool green and you know depending on how much yellow or how much of the peacock that you use you can make it a darker green or a lighter more lemony green but yeah here you can see where I, I did the green and then I was like eh, it doesn't really go you know with what I'm trying to do
So now I'm trying to go over the, the little pebbles um, on the frame with gesso, but I didn't wait quite long enough for um, the matte medium to dry. So some of them kind of come loose and then I kind of give up on <laughs> trying to cover them with gesso. But yeah, you can see, I'm like, ah! <laughs> Um, but now I'm going to take my fine line applicator bottle thingy and I filled it with white fluid acrylic. It's a little watered down um, and my journal spread isn't totally dry yet so you can see some of it's runny um, which I enjoy. Um, so I'm just making some or doing some asemic writing in the bottom corner and then the top corner um, and I think, I think it turns out really cool actually. And I wanted to bring some more of the peacock over to the left side of the spread. So I'm adding it into the corners that didn't quite get touched with, um, with paint. Just so the peacock's not only on this right upper corner here, but it's also a little bit on the left. In the um, ephemera pack that Erin gave us, uh, she gave us this like scrapbook page of canvas paper, which is really cool and I didn't know existed. Um, so I wanted to make a tip in from it. Sorry, my camera keeps going in and out of focus. It's like really upset that I'm moving, I guess. Um, so I took the paper and I folded it you know, I cut out a little square rectangle thing and now I'm sewing it together. Um, I'm really not that great at tip ins. I'll be honest. They're not like my, my thing. Like they are maybe for Nicole or, you know, a lot of other people. Um, but I'm trying and I really liked this tip in that I made but I had a hard time figuring out if I wanted to use it or not. <laughs> um, so, but anyway, I'm just sewing around the edges and um, I went over it like straight one time and then I'm going over it again a little more wiggly. I have, so that one sewing machine that I bought that had like all the cool stitches and stuff, I broke it. I don't know what I did but I like I did something and it doesn't want to work anymore so I went back to this little one and um, the little one doesn't work like doesn't hold the, the thread bobbin because I got one that's too big so it kind of just flops around as I use it but you know we improvise and it's all right um, so I'm just taking some black gesso and I am doing some mark making all throughout the inside of um, my little canvas square And now I'm gonna take my frame and spray it with um, some night and turquoise gloss spray um, just to add some color to it. And I think it will pop really nicely against the kind of more orangey, pinky, purpley colors that are in the um, background. And I don't know if you noticed, but I kept the butterfly from the packaging for the brushes and because um, I thought it was cute so I thought it would be fun to use. Um, and now I'm just adding some more um, acemic writing with my um, fine line applicator and I am taking a Dina Weekly um, scribble stick. This is the marine scribble stick which is honestly my favorite one to use. I feel like the night is more purple in the scribble stick than it is in like, I mean, I know there's like a purple hint um, in the paint, but with the scribble stick, it's like, well, bam, purple. So I really like the marine for um, making some dark marks that aren't, you know, just black. So I am dipping the tip into some water and then doing some mark making um, throughout the spread. So dipping the tip 
<clears throat> obviously waters down waters it down a little bit makes it a little um, easier to make marks and they're also like a little more fluid so they spread a little bit so like you can see I don't know if you can tell but in the middle they're kind of dripping um, because of the angle of the page so it adds like a cool little you know unintended effect So I finally decided where that I wanted to use the butterfly on the little frame. Actually, I think I decided that a long time ago, but I finally put it down. Um, and then I was trying to figure out what I wanted to put behind the frame, looking at what I just did with the marks on the deli paper that would have looked kind of cool. But um, this is also cool. I took the some of the collage um, tissue words and um, put it behind the frame so that way it kind of but you can still see through the collage paper or like the tissue which I think is super cool um, so you can still kind of see the background but you're also seeing the words and then the frame is right there I think it, it looks ends up looking really neat So now on the other side, I want to obviously add something um, to kind of balance everything out. So I'm going to try to figure out what I want to put there. Um, and then, so I made this flower on the deli paper and I used the fine line applicator with black paint. The only reason I didn't record it was because um, I didn't want to infringe on another person's class. I know, um, like, I didn't want, I, I feel like I got that idea maybe from the class, so I didn't want to show it, you know, in a video and then take away from the artist. Um, the class was the Wonky Bits class from um, Wendy uh, Willow Wanders on Instagram. Um, so, now here I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with this canvas square. Um, I knew I wanted to do a tip in, but I was like, I also really just like the journal spread. So we'll see. Ultimately, I decided to use the floral that I um, drew on the um, patty paper. I'm gonna cut it out. I'm not cutting it all out because I didn't really like all of it. Um, so I'm just cutting out the parts that I want to use and then I'm going to glue it down, um, onto the page. So whatever this white fluffy paper that Erin included in our ephemera packs is, it is really cool. Um, it kind of melts with glue a little bit in some areas. Um, and 
I don't know, it's like a cotton puffy cloud. It's just cool. So now I'm working again on this tip in. Um, I kept this little sketchy thing of the tools again from the packaging for the brushes because I thought it was cute. Um, and then I, I glued down some of the uh, marks that I made on the uh, patty paper. So now I'm taking some Dina Wakely, um, what is this? It's sticky back canvas. Uh, she made it in rolls recently. So <clears throat> I am going to paint it with the paints that I used on the background because my hope is that when I do the tip in, I'll be able to make it kind of blend in with the page a little bit. So it's not like super obvious. So as I was looking at the spread, I decided that I wanted to add more floral stuff. Um, so I had, I drew uh, this little vine and I cut it out um, to put it onto my flower. Um, so I'm just taking, you know, my matte medium and gluing that down. And I like, again, that it's like see-through so you can still see the background, but it also like pops. Um, so now we're back to the tip in. So this is the other side and I realized that Aaron had given us this little like plastic pocket, which I thought would be really cool. Cause like this other side of the tip in, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it because you know, I, I, I wanted to do something, but at the same time I was like, do I even really want to put the tip in? in? Um, but then I found the little plastic pocket and I was like, oh yes, I want to put the tip in, in. So I glued the pocket down so I could put a tag in there. Um, and then like, how cool is that? I don't know. I just think it's really cool. We put a little tag in the little pocket on the little tip in. It's just, yeah, it does make my journal a little more fluffy that's okay. All right, so now it is time to try to put in the tip in. So I cut the canvas, um, sticky back canvas in half, and I'm gonna use obviously one half on each side. Um, so I'm placing it on the, t the, the side of the tip in. Um, and I'm trimming it a little bit because it's still a little like thick. I, I want to try to not cover up as much as possible. Um, so I'm going to do that on both sides and then stick it right in there. So again, I didn't want it to be too noticeable that I um, put this there. So I am making sure that the, the leaf goes over the canvas. And then I'm also bringing um, the marks with the crayon over the canvas. So that way, again, you know, it looks like it was supposed to be there and it maybe isn't as, as jarring, you know, jarringly obvious that, hey, there's like a seam here. Um, I ended up not really liking the blue at the bottom because um, like I was trying to make it a little more, you know, every, there's blue in the whole background and a little, you know, to blend everything in, but there's not blue in that particular area. So I decided to cut the bottom part off. Um, so that way, it w again, it wasn't as obvious that, you know, there's something there. Um, and even though like it doesn't go all the way down on the canvas page, I don't know, I think it works a lot better because now it kind of like almost disappears. Like if you didn't know I did it, maybe you wouldn't notice. You would definitely notice, but still, that's my hope. Um, and then I am taking the stamp. Um, I can't remember what stamp that it's from. 
Y'all know it's a Dina Wakely stamp because um, it's me. So I am trying to only put the word create. Obviously I got some ink on some of the other letters so I decided to just stamp it a couple times so that way the um, it would just like look like I stamped create a lot and then you wouldn't notice that hey there's these other letters. Um, and then I'm also going to add some words to my tag so that it's not just a plain tag. And that is it. That is all for our um, spread for July. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the video and the process. Please make sure to visit our sponsor, Peace Craft Love. They are a local um, craft store down in Houston and um, support local businesses use or and small businesses. Use our code JULYMMM to get 10% off. Um, and then next month, if you play along with us, use the hashtag Mixed Media Menagerie. Um, we have a giveaway from Sean Petit. So please make sure to play along and I can't wait to see what you guys create. Thank you for watching.